The smallest letter in the Hebrew alphabet is Yod, which means hand. It represents the number 10 and is the first letter in the ancient sacred name of God, comprised of the letters Yod, He, Vav, and He. The plenary form of Yod consists of the phonetic sounds Ya, the letter Yod, and D, the letter Dalet, with the corresponding numeric values of 10 and 4. We can see this letter illustrated when we open the palm of our hand and count how many digits are on our hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. In Psalm 111, verse 1, we read, Hallelujah! I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. The word hallelujah uses the shorter form of God's holy name, Yah, which is comprised of two letters, Yod and He. The letter He means look or behold. In the ancient Paleo-Hebrew pictograph, He is seen as an image of a person standing with their hands raised. It can also mean breath, as one does when looking at an amazing sight. Whoa. In Genesis, God breathed into Adam the breath of life and gave him the gift of speech. Why? Because God created man to worship him. In Psalm 150, verse 6, we read, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The word hallelujah has two parts. The first part comes from the word halal, meaning to be clear or shine to show, boast, or celebrate. And the second part is Yah, the sacred name of God. So, with the divine breath within us, we are to look and behold who God is and what He has done. This is worship. Praise God! During the first day of creation, the breath of God is mentioned five times. It is the Hebrew word uberuach, Psalm 33, verse 6 explains, By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, their starry host by the breath of His mouth. When we look at the total numeric value of this word, we have 6 plus 2 plus 200 plus 6 plus 8, which equals 222. This is the same numeric value for the voice of God, kol Elohim, that Adam and Eve heard calling to them in the garden in Genesis 3, verse 8. In Scripture, whenever a number like 2 is raised to its triplet, 222, two, two, it denotes a place of power and authority. It means stop, pay attention. Another significant place where the number 222 is found in the Bible is Exodus chapter 6, verse 2, when Moses encounters the Lord, for the first time, God reveals his full name, yod He vav He, Yahweh. And God spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. The word spoke in the original Hebrew text is ve dabar, and it equals 222 in Gematria. God made us in His image. God has breath and gives us breath. God spoke and He gives us speech. What differentiates us from the animals is that humans alone have the complex set of vocal, hearing, and brain processing skills to engage in vocal communication. Animals can make sounds, but we can speak. We were created to worship God to speak and sing His praise. In ancient Israel, they could not perform sacrifices in the temple without song. Our bodies are the temple of the breath of God, so let's remember to raise our own hallelujah, for He is the Lord, and He rejoices over us with singing.